12 days. So next step is Brandon. I saw you yesterday a lot, and not to just, uh, get really specific on more people, but you were. The, I saw you coming a lot. Comes down, you didn't break it. Then you should have served from here, but you want to attack the leg here. It's very important to attack the leg because if I break his lock and you don't want to. Get too excited jumping on. You don't want to get too excited before you break the lock. After you break the lock, I get his lock high, I cover, it's broken. Then I want to switch off to attacking my leg. Even if he hits his hands locked again, now I'm in on a shot here in a better position. That's if he grabs your leg, or she probably won't be able to. But so I'm switching off from attacking the body to attacking the leg. I'm switching off to my short offense here, and then circle up like you. And then you can go to whatever shot you want, whether it be head inside, head outside. <coughs> but it's very important to you attack the leg and not the body. Because if I attack the body, I break his lock. I do all this work, all this work to break his leg, <coughs> his lock, and then I circle up. He has a better chance of shooting on me now. Because we're right here. I just gave him my leg. I gave him, he beat my level and everything just to get on a better shot. So shoot again. So here, we're breaking the lock. We're breaking the lock. Come to our front headlock here. We're sliding off, we're not jumping up. Then I'm circling and attacking the leg versus jumping at the body. Are there any questions? So I saw you got in a lot of scrambles yesterday when you were just trying to jump up. A lot of, a lot of my path was really intense. Um, like, uh, I was being sloppy. I wasn't going as far as I could. That's fine. Right. But you're going to win a lot more positions staying in good position, wanting to attack this leg versus attacking the body. Any questions? Oh.